Hi, in this video we will study a relation between continuous and discrete random variables. As for a given discrete random variable, we may be able to find continuous random variables, which in some way is a good approximation for the original given discrete random variable. We, we will introduce this notion and we will see in some examples. Well, let us start with the example that we had. Let's uh, y, um, y be the continuous uh, random variable. Remember, one of the examples we have was the time length length of a trip from London, Ontario to Toronto. So this is a continuous random variable, it's a range because it's time. But in practice, what we do is not, we, we are not taking the the exact time we usually round it round the time to closest well let's say minute yes maybe second but doesn't matter at, at the end we we round it at some point and when you round it it's going to be a discrete either well 30 minutes 31 minutes 32 minutes 33 or let's say 300 minutes so then we will we usually deal with uh, the x is a discrete random variable which basically tells us what is time length of uh, the trip up to minute yes so if you consider that you basically moved from a continuous random variable to a discrete random variable. And now if someone is studying these two things, how the probabilities will be related. For example, here we were uh, we are interested in finding probability of x being to some number. How is this probability can be given by a probability in terms of y. Definitely y cannot be equal to one number because y is a continuous and that probability is zero. This side is continuous. So we will study this relation in details and you'll say that well if there is a if y is a good approximation of x we can write every probability in terms of x uh, rewrite it as as a probability in terms of y uh, in an interval well the discussion is all about this interval how we can determine that so this is the notion we will study today uh, let me start with one thing that is important well the discrete random variables we are going to study we like them to be uh, 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 discrete random variable x is called the name is here evenly distributed distributed um, um, if if the values its values are equally spaced meaning that between any two consecutive value the distance of these guys are the uh, same thing say k unit apart uh, well means that the values if you put on the real line the the distance between any two consecutive one is going to be a k uh, well as an examples of those things example 
for example, uh, consider BNP, binomial, uh, binomial random variable NP, the values are 0, 1, 2, up to N, and you see that it is evenly distributed, evenly distributed uh, with K being equal to 1. Or, for example, you can have a random variable with values like 1, 4, 7, 10, and 13, and it is again unevenly distributed with k equal to 3. Or if you have x, 0, 1, 5, 6, 7, 11, this is not, not evenly distributed. So, we need when when discussion comes you'll see that we need that that k that constant k to do the approximation okay so then now let's go uh, to the definition which is at the same time uh, basically the recipe we need to approximate so let me just do this okay um a continuous random variable and um, let me just write RV RVY is a good approximation of an evenly distributed discrete random variable x with um, k unit apart values we say it's a good approximation if if we can write probability of x equal to a in terms of y how well see if this is a and then these are the next values we are interested in probability of a so here is k here is k for the discrete one there is nothing in between but when you can go to y by going halfway up halfway down basically you go from a point to an interval taken the value a to an interval how again halfway up if this is k halfway is k plus k over 2 Yes, halfway up is a plus k over 2. And this is again k, halfway down is a minus k over 2. So we turn a point to an interval. If this guy y is between a plus k over 2 and a minus k over so if that can be happen for all values of a then we say that y is a good approximation of x before i finish just let me uh, put a remark here and uh, well if you have that thing then you can also do probability of x being less than equal to a yes uh, because you see this is a then these are the lower values so we are trying to find probability of these ones and this is the uh, the next one up to a we are trying to do all these well these guys now we taken each one of them so 
a, we take in half a up a plus k over 2 and half a down. Oops, sorry. So a uh, half a down. And then the other one also itself, this this is just for a. Then the, the lower one also thickens, uh, we can thicken it to a, another interval and goes down like that. So we turn x less than equal to a to probability of y less than equal to a plus k over 2. And the similar story goes for uh, probability of x being bigger than a and less than equal to b by going well the bigger one you go one up half way up there so you go here this is a a b so b turns into an interval taken b half way up so we b plus k over 2 and go up to a itself also you taken it so it go back to that point yes and the half way down here a minus k over 2 so this will be a minus k over 2 a plus k over 2 while i'm writing the inequalities for discrete and continuous you have to always note that for discrete random variables the in the inequalities that be having equality or not is very important while for the inequalities for the continuous one it's not important someone can come and put equality here or just one of them doesn't for the continuous one it doesn't matter but for the discrete one you have to be very careful